The Bangladesh Air Force is the aerial warfare branch of the Bangladesh Armed Forces, primarily tasked with an aerial defense of Bangladesh with a role of providing air support to Bangladesh Army and Navy. The Bangladesh Air Force, being the first line of defense for Bangladesh employs around 16,000 full-time personnel, including 3,500 pilots and currently operates around 97 aircraft. Bangladesh Air Force has a territorial role of providing strategic air transport and logistics capability to Bangladesh. Bangladesh Air Force has been part of major operations such as Operation Desert Storm, Gulf War, and Chittagong Hill Tracks Operation. The BEF has been an active participant in United Nations peacekeeping missions. In Defence IQ 2011 International Fighter Aircraft Conference in London, the Air Force revealed their long-term advancement and procurement plan to induct 7 Squadron fighter jet by 2021. The Bangladesh Air Force has an ongoing modernization program under Force's goal 2030 to become a strong force to defend the sky of Bangladesh. It has plans to acquire both modern aircraft and air defense capabilities. Bangladesh is also negotiating with the U.S. government for the regeneration, overhaul, modifications and logistics support for four off-the-shelf Lockheed Martin C-130Es, 20 engines and associated parts, equipment, and training for an estimated cost of $180 million. On January 25, 2015, Minister for Public Administration Syed Ashraf al-Islam said that the government has planned to buy some warplanes according to Force's goal 2030 to modernize the Air Force. He said, the government will buy multi-role combat aircraft, medium-range fixed-wing transport aircraft and helicopter trainer.
but not everyone is meant to. It's a privilege and honor. So come fly. Set the sky ablaze. Maneuver the clouds. Roar with the speed of thunder. Let loose the rain. Come fly. Break the barriers. Cross the limits. Protect the motherland. Be the one to bring some colors from the rainbow. Come fly. This is the VOA Special English Economics Report. Burma is in a good position to make big gains in Asia's fast-growing markets. But development must include all of society and be sustainable for Burma to reach its goals. That is what the Asian Development Bank said in a recent report. 
Sen Yung Park is an economist with the bank. She says Burma's economic position is strengthened by its natural resources, resources such as oil, gas, and minerals. It also has two large and growing neighbors, India and China. And the nation is young. One in four of its citizens are under the age of 30. But Burma has a long way to go. After 50 years of military rule, it is one of Asia's poorest countries. Basic infrastructure like roads, bridges, and railways are not developed, and only 30% of rural people have electricity. Burma is trying to increase foreign investment. Its civilian government has struggled with a new foreign investment law. Some versions of the law restricted foreign ownership in some industries and ban it completely in others. Sean Turnell is an economist with Australia's Macquarie University. He said the foreign investment law faced local disapproval or pushback. He said in some cases, there appears to be a walling off of some industries to foreigners. For years, Burma's military closely controlled the economy. Relatives and friends of military members received rich contracts. Now, the civilian government wants to expand services and manufacturing. It has considered giving foreign companies low tax rates so they will invest. But experts say this could be a mistake. Sean Turnell says investors are concerned about infrastructure problems, not taxes. Economists also say tax breaks for local businesses may not be the answer either. They say the lack of access to credit for farmers and businesses in Burma is a bigger problem. Reform in Burma is still in the early stages. The country recently announced new rules ending direct government censorship of news media. Reporters now must send censors their work after it is published instead of before. Some reporters say they will wait to see if this means more freedom. Sen Yun Park says investors too are waiting to see if reform will succeed. It is really going to take a while, she says, before the investors do believe that this reform is sincere and the government is not going to retrench. For VOA Special English, I'm Laurel Bowman.